Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. This reading is a reading that is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it's really important that you take whatever resonates with you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with and the rest of it you just leave it aside. However if you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading please do contact me at romancefulltarot at gmail.com and it'll be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you. Um, also, if you look into the YouTube drop box, you will find all of the above information. So the readings, the prices, and how to book one. That being said, uh, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be mostly appreciated. So um, what I'm about to do here is this is a reading and um, it's for the sign of Aries and what we're looking for is does your ex have regrets okay so this is what we want to know um, so I'm going to turn the cards over I'm using four cards of Alice in Wonderland I'm using four cards of the nightmare before Christmas and so let's begin this reading so we're gonna begin over here I have the lovers, I have the hermit, I have the ten of swords, and I have the knight of wands. I'm using uh, Alice in Wonderland, by the way, or the nightmare before Christmas, but I think I said that. And here I have the knight of potions, uh, followed by the um, ten of potions. I also have the hermit, and I have the will of fortune. And I'm going to finish it off with a little oracle card. So, do they feel sorry? So let's go and see. So we're going to begin over here with the Alice in Wonderland. So Alice in Wonderland um, is clearly saying no. And I am to believe that this is the same thing with the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. So I feel as though they, they left. Okay. So they, they decided that was it. And, you know, this is what happened. It was the end of the relationship. There was nothing left to do with the relationship. It had fallen to pieces and a million pieces. And they just didn't want to do anything about it. That was it. Um, and so that was done. It was just whatever happened was just not reparable. So it was just not fixable. Let's put it that way. And so they decided that they were going to leave for some time. But they did take a little while before coming to that conclusion. Um, they did have to, um, they, they were really, quite frankly, really pondering about the whole thing, if they were going to stay into the relationship or not. But um, it was like facing a brick wall. Really, there was no choice. A choice had to be made. And this is what they decided because they needed this to move on. But they also needed some time alone. They needed some time to be by themselves. They needed some time to think. They needed some time to just put their life into perspective, put everything into order. Um, so that being said, I'm really seeing here in the Alice in Wonderland, the way that everything happened and the ending, how it was it was quite swift and it was decisive and that was it. I don't feel like they have any regrets. I don't feel like they are sorry. I feel like they just took their uh, their decision and that was the decision to have to be made and you know there was no there was no turning around on that. That was it and that was all. Now if we go on over to the Wheel of Fortune, well the Wheel of Fortune here, um you know is always is all about life's ups and downs, right? So here we go. It's all about life's ups and downs and everything can change in just an instant, which may feel scary or even traumatic. So this is about not getting discouraged even when, you know, things seem very dire because, you know, fortune is very unpredictable and fate is at its place. So this is about staying hopeful. So yes, um, this was about being hopeful for the relationship, hopeful that something would work. This is why they stayed a little bit longer, but unfortunately that just didn't happen. And I often have, not often, I also have over here the Hermit card, which is being seen into two decks. So the Hermit, of course, is all about um, feeling overwhelmed, feeling aimless. Um, I feel like your your ex needed some direction. They needed some direction to look within. They didn't know where to go anymore. Um, and they needed some answers. They needed some answers, questions, and they needed to find these answers and they made it, they needed to make time for themselves. So this is just about getting away from them, from the hustle and the bustle of the daily life. And it was just to go away and to bring themselves some new clarity. Um, 
that being said, if we move uh, if we move over to the um, the ten of potions, well, the ten of potions in that case is oh, you have so much um, you have so many emotions that are being put into that, but you know this time it is in a rever uh, in a reversal. So really, the re in the relationship, this is about a relationship that is in hot water. Um, it's feeling like you're floundering, like there's a pause and you need to think. A little bit like the uh, lover's card over here. So it's really about has there been a communication breakdown? Um, I feel like the goals and the needs just change it and it, it was just the way that they felt for them. I don't know if your goals had changed, but theirs had changed. So this is about stop treading the water and just diving below the surface to discover what really is at the heart of the problem. Um, and then we have the Knight of Potions. So the Knight of Potions just decide that that was it. Uh, you know, I am uh, I'm not going to continue and I am going to leave. And so this is what the Knight of Potion did. The Knight of Potion decided that uh, this was just not interesting for them. Um, it was really about becoming, um, how could I say this? Um, it's really about figuring out their dreams, about being focused on the momentum, on the action of the right now. But it's also about being kind of sulky, kind of gloomy and kind of brooding. So, and, and that is caused by a great disappointment. Your, your partner was quite disappointed into the turnout of the relationship. So this is really just about time for your partner to, you know, look at their options and to act on them. So really, I, I know that there was some sticky relation, you know, some sticky answers and sticky um, questions and decisions that had to be made by your partner but um, these were made emotionally rather more than logically I do feel so um, altogether do they feel sorry no they don't they're they're very disappointed about the way that the relationship turned out but um, this is just the way that you know it happened and it was better for them they did this for them because they were not reaching whatever it is that they wanted to reach within their goals and their needs it had changed within the time so um, they don't really have any Thing to reproach themselves on that. Um, as for the Oracle card, the Oracle card here, I have Resilience. And the girl of resilience, as we can see, is really quite relaxed here. And she's impassively stokes and stirs the flames of her past at her feet. In her crowded room of memory, she fans the flames without fear of letting go of events, ideas, people, places that once defined her. She is comfortable in her room and is not leaving her space. The smoke does not overcome her. The window is open and a branch of the tree of life reaches in to guide her, okay, to the heightening of clarity and of wisdom. And when resilience appears, it is just time to stoke the fires of past and, res and release that which no longer serves you. Know that to rise like a phoenix, it is necessary to dive into the flames and be warned and confident in the light that comes from burning away and releasing the bad and the good of the past. So release it all to be reborn and then have the inner flame. So this is the uh, end of the reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it answered your question uh, and maybe even more because I gave some clarity on the reasons of why they were leaving and what was happening. Um, if you do have any questions or if this doesn't resonate with you, you'd like to have your own reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel before leaving and uh, stay tuned for the following readings. I do wish you a fantastic day, many, many blessings, and um, I will be seeing you soon. Have a great day.